What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Midnight Media TV. It's your boy, Corey, and we're going to talk about this Pokemon Van Gogh Museum promo disaster bullshit. Ah, so fucking terrible. But if you guys can, first, hit the subscribe button, uh, like the video, leave a comment down below, tell me what you thought about the Van Gogh promo bullshit. It was fucking terrible. And, uh, yeah, let's talk about it. This is where I put it. Pikachu with Greyfeld hat promo card. If I had one! I can't believe a company as big as Pokemon could not figure out <laughs> that one of the most well-known artists of an entire generation in the world uh, and one of the biggest media franchises of all time wouldn't have, you know, a high demand for a promo card that's incredibly attractive. I mean, it's one of the coolest looking cards I've ever seen in my life. Who wouldn't want to add that to a collection? And I exclusively collect Pikachu shit. Um, I'm going to show you a quick video while I'm talking right now. I even collect motherfucking film cells that have Pikachu in them, okay? I'm a big Pikachu fan, guys. For now, this is a couple things, and uh, yeah, I'm a big Pikachu fan. I even have Pikachu stuff on my desk right here as I open up cards, which we'll go ahead and jump into a couple packs here. We got a couple things. We got a little Astral Radiant and some Scarlet Violet and City and Flames and stuff. Uh, let's do let's do the Astral Radiance first since they're opened already. They're not in sleeves. Um, but yeah, so so it just doesn't make sense to me that a company like Pokemon, you you wouldn't think that they would backtrack on you know past things. They've always done like their movie releases. It's always you know get a promo card in this time frame. It's not limited to quality or quantity of of the material. So anytime you're making a merchandise release or you're doing something like that, like, what, what are you thinking, Pokemon? Again, one of the biggest media franchises of all time, okay? You have a lot of fans. You have a lot of people out there that like this product. And you, you saw that during the pandemic. Now, a lot of people do talk about... Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? We got... Ooh, Diago B. Origin Forma. All right, got some sleeves. We'll go ahead and throw some hits over there. Whatever we end up fucking getting from this. Um, but yeah, anyway, so so people are always kind of you know discussing you know the way Pokemon should handle these things and the way they should should or shouldn't be released. But again, you, you would think they have the money and the resources to get the product to the people looking for it. And with characters like Pikachu and an artist as popular as Van Gogh and as recognizable as you know what he's done for um, you know art throughout the world uh it's it's an impressive thing to me <laughs> to think that somebody didn't know to get you know enough promos and or materials printed and that they were going to have this it just it doesn't make sense to me in, in my opinion um it, it's only because again with the demand that they had during covid you, you saw that everyone saw that pokemon was popping off again everyone saw that people wanted this stuff um, and they know what they're doing. So, you know, if you went and saw the very first fucking Pokemon movie in, like, the 90s, everybody got those promo cards back then. Why the fuck would they not print more of them now? It doesn't... Oh, my gosh. It just hurts my brain to think there's people sitting around going, Oh, we didn't expect this. What are you talking about you didn't expect this? What are you talking about? You know it's one of the best promos you've come up with ever. Um... And, you know, if, if you're thinking about the Scream promos, for example, like, those came out in a time when Pokemon wasn't popping off. Now, I get that. If they're trying to think, well, our last promos didn't do as good at the time, well, that's because that was, like, six years ago. That was pre-COVID, and COVID has changed things in the realm of Pokemon. Now, you, gotta t you can't tell me that Pokemon doesn't know that, and their own fan base can recognize that. Like, that's crazy to me. So it's really annoying. It's one of those things where, you know, people are pissed. I have a big Pokemon collection and I want to add stuff like that to it when I can. I actually started collecting right after that 2018. Um, I got back into collecting. And, uh, yeah, it's just like, fuck. Like, you just disheartened so many people. And again, I know you didn't, like, expect that many people. And if you were going to make it, like, an exclusive thing, again, make it a time thing. Don't make it an availability thing. Um... It, don't, don't make it a three-month event and then expect to have problem. like what it's oh my gosh it hurts my brain pokemon you fucked so many people man and look we're opening your cards we're dedicated i still spend money on you we just want you to do the same thing spend your money on us please god like it's okay if you printed enough plushes you know we would buy them so it just doesn't make sense to me that's what i really fucking wanted i wanted that damn plush i thought that would have been really sick have that, have that with the Pikachu. Oh, we got a black code card. All right, let's see what we get. And that's the thing. A lot of us like to actually open the cards. We actually like to collect them and look at them. We enjoy the promos. I'm especially a promo fan. I, I love the promos that they come out with. Try to collect those. 
not specifically Togekiss, but you know, it's a it's a thing. It's it's honestly a thing where there's a lot of people out there that want these fucking promos. We'll do anything to get them, but we're not going to play scalper prices. So we just need Pokemon to fix this problem because you have the power to do it. We don't. All we're going to do is complain on Reddit. All we're going to do is get on Twitter and just get pissed. And so we're happy that you said you're going to fix it, but dude, you should have just fixed it from the beginning. There's no way you polled all the people that work there and said, this is a great idea. Nobody's going to want these Van Gogh things, so why the fuck would we print a bunch of them? And why the fuck would we give them away for, like, every Halloween order on the Pokemon Center? Like, guys, just, it's brain power here. It's not hard. But anyways, I'm not going to dwell on it too much more. I hope everyone else at least did not have as bad of an experience as I did. I had a pretty bad experience. I know a lot of fucking Poketubers did. Um, a lot of people that I saw did have a pretty bad fucking experience. Ooh, we'll end that with an Absol EX. All right, cool. It's a little something to, to end that opening on. Um, but we'll see what Pokemon Center does. Because uh, I wasn't going to really make this video at first. Because I had an order. It just didn't get confirmed. I was like, you know what? If they start canceling orders, though, I'm going to fucking talk about it. Because that's just bullshit. Um, there's a lot of people, a lot of kids. I mean, just merchandise. We were all stoked on it. We all sat at work, you know, waiting to see that stuff drop. It never dropped. It was so confusing. It was just disheartening, man. It's just like watching a kid get robbed <laughs> of his lunch money by like an actual gang <laughs> like not even another kid his age like an actual gang of people that you look at it and you go i feel like you of all people should know that that's wrong for the victim um and i know we're not like you know it's not what was me i mean i have money i can buy fucking pokemon cards i'm just not it's a moral thing i'm not gonna spend scalper prices a lot of us aren't gonna spend scalper prices for stuff we want plushies we want items we like the stuff sitting in our house because we actually enjoy these kind of things we don't just do it because we want money um and we don't just buy slabs and we don't just talk about streaming and whatnot we actually make videos we put time and effort into this shit um so yeah it's actually a fun hobby um and speaking of which everybody out there that enjoys the hobby thanks for stopping by if this is gonna be the end of this video i'm not gonna rant too much i just really really had to get that off my chest i feel better we're gonna open up more 151 uh, hopefully in the next video um, and then we're gonna look at the UPC maybe in the next week or so I'm not sure I'm just really busy right now getting a couple things going so not as many videos for the next week or two um, but uh, and hopefully that'll change soon we'll start getting a little bit more uh, into the holiday season with some opening some fun stuff so for now you guys have a good one see you in the next one peace the fuck out